We're ready. All right. Good to have you all here today joining us. Good to have them by Facebook. And uh, we're going to be recording, getting things going this morning. And uh, just allow God to have his way and to minister. I hope all that can join with us and worship. Let God touch your hearts and lives around this place and up on uh, Facebook and YouTube. That God will continue to bless and move. Will y'all join in and worship as uh, we begin today here at the house of the Lord. Sister Hannah and is going to sing a song and we'll get into the word of God. Amen. Worship with us. Yeah. 
that you and I can have such a great salvation. Yes, amen. Worthy is Jesus Christ. Yes. There is yes. no other name given no. unto man whereby man shall be saved That's right. than Jesus Christ. Him alone. Thank God for yes. every drop of blood that flowed down Calvary. Amen. Thank God for every stripe that was upon his body. They were for our healing. I am thankful today for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He must be lifted up. He must be praised. He must be glorified among his church, among the people of God. We must lift him up today, higher than ever before. We're living in a society today that has withdrawn themselves and pulled themselves and is afraid to venture out and to lift up the name of Jesus. But I want to tell you today, we must lift him up. Yes, amen. amen. No matter what cost, no matter what it may cause us, right. we must lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Many has come this way. Many has walked this path. Right. Many have died for Jesus. Amen. We must not be ashamed of him today, for he said if we will be ashamed of him before men, he would be ashamed of us, of us before his Father, which right. is in heaven. Lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. amen. Lift him up. He is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. Good to have you all here today, here around Lighthouse. We're going to get into the Word of God and uh, let God have his way. I better move that thing. I'll be said something and it'll be talking to me in a minute. Amen. That's right. It just starts talking all of a sudden. But anyway, good to have you that are here. We're looking for a good day in the Lord and just want to worship God. Good to have you that are joining with us by YouTube, by Facebook Live. Let God touch you and minister to you here and uh, allow God just to have his way here in your hearts and in your lives. We're going to start reading in James chapter number 5 verse 16 through 18 if you want to read along with us with your word. Um, my message this morning is going to be titled The Spirit of a Prayer Warrior. Amen. The spirit of a prayer warrior. James 5, 16 through 18. It says, Confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not for the earth on the earth. Uh, by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Heavenly Father, this morning, once again, Lord, we have gathered in your presence. And Lord, we have broken the bread of life once again, Lord. And Lord, to read your word, to hide it in our hearts, Lord, to feast upon your word today. Lord, your word, Lord, is this a counselor to us, Lord. It, it gives us insight and it gives us hope, Lord. God, it gives us direction for our life. Lord, as we're here today, God, I pray that you would counsel with us with your word, that you would encourage our hearts and our spirits, God, that you would challenge us, Lord. Lord, to, to live above, Lord, and go beyond, Lord, the call, Lord, that's placed upon our hearts and upon our lives. God, I pray today that you would minister and move around this place. Lord, that you would touch them that are on uh, uh, Facebook and YouTube. God, that you would move and touch them today. God, minister, Lord, and have your way. And we we'll give you praise. We we'll give you all the glory. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. The title of my, let, my message today is The Spirit of a Prayer Warrior. I began uh, by examining and looking at a warrior warrior, a brave or experienced soldier or fighter, an elite person who goes above and beyond the call of duty, one who doesn't retreat and without fault of life charges into battle, one that fears not the enemy, his or her thought is win at whatever cost. I'm going to try to do this with the wind to blow me. Then I looked at a soldier soldier, a person who serves in the army. And you know today we are soldiers listed in the army of God. We have 
uh, engage in a spiritual warfare with the enemy as when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. The other morning, real early, God began to deal with me on the spirit of a prayer warrior. Years ago, I was praying and, and, and asking the Lord to help me to understand the, 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 the far as the body is concerned. We, we, we have the body, we have a soul, and then the spirit of man. And sometimes, oftentimes, the soul and the spirit is wrapped together and, and discussed as being the soul or the spirit of man. And as I was praying, asking God to help me to understand this, one morning he, he revealed to me the body, the soul, and the spirit. And simply saying it's the spirit of man, it, it has the power over the flesh. The soul gives the, the, the soul the power over the flesh to be able to continue on and do. And an example of this, the Lord began to show me the spirit of a horse and how that a horse's spirit, some are very spirited and, 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 and it's hard to break that spirit and get on them. They, they were ready to go. They're ready to run. They're ready to ride. They're, some of them seem to be a little wild acting, but they, they have such a spirit about them that they won't stop at nothing. God began to show me that and reveal to me about the spirit of man and the reasoning behind him filling us with the power of the Holy Ghost to empower us when we are weak in spirit and through the power of the Holy Ghost we begin to become strong to cause our flesh to come under subjection to our soul and obey God and what God wants to do in our life. So there is a difference today between a soldier and a warrior. First you have to be a soldier to become a warrior. Everyone can be a soldier. Many soldiers never meet the criteria to be labeled as a warrior. A warrior has developed a skill in fighting where fear is absent. He no longer is worried or scared of losing his life. He battles without fault. He pushes ahead to achieve the mission, no matter how difficult it may be. He is a warrior. He never calls retreat. He is a warrior. He never runs. He never quits, for he is a warrior. There is a different level for the warrior. I can name a few names. Today we can talk about some people. And I'm going to name these names, you'll see a difference. How many remembers Chris Kyle, American sniper, a warrior? Many may not know, but Audie Murphy, a warrior, one of the most decorated soldiers of World War II. As we are, but he battled in prayer. Amen. 
What is prayer? Prayer is a solemn request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God or an object of worship. So when we have a request, we pray. When we want to talk to God, we pray. That's a communication, a language that God desires for His church. Amen. To pray and to call out upon Him. As we look into this, we find a man of such passion and such power. And, and Elijah, Elijah was a man just like you and I. He was human just like you and I. But he was a man that prayed. Prayer warriors. I, I combine this together. It's a term used by many evangel uh, uh, evangelical uh, and other Christians to refer to anyone who is committed to praying for others. With this context, the dominion, theology, prayer warriors see themselves as engaged in spiritual warfare against satanic forces. As we look into the life of Elijah and we see this man in, in a battle upon Mount Carmel. How many remembers the story where Elijah faced the 450 prophets of Baal upon Mount Carmel? Amen. As I began to study this and began to look at this, I could read it all out. It's a, it's a very long uh, story here in Kings. Uh, but he came together against the prophets of Baal. He called the people together. Let's come to Mount Carmel. Let's have a showdown. Let's see whose God is who. The one that answers by fire, let's let him be God. And so he allowed the prophets of Baal to come together and to build an altar and to prepare a sacrifice and to call upon their God. In the midst of this, Elijah stood back and he watched what was going on. And, and what I like to do is I like to uh, look what Elijah did to them. And, and in verse number 27 it said, It came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. And he said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is taking, uh, talking, or either he is pursuing, or either he is on a journey or pre-adventure. He sleepeth, and he must be awake. And they cried aloud, and they cut themselves with all manner uh, with knives and lances until the blood began to flow out. But I, I like what Elijah did. He stood his ground, and he began to mock them. Why did he begin to mock them? He was a man a warrior. He, he wasn't just a soldier, but he was a warrior for God. Right. Amen. He was battling. He wasn't concerned about what the situation was. He wasn't concerned about that it was 450 to 1. He was a warrior. He was brave. He was willing to fight. He was willing to stand for the cause of God because he knew the God that he served. Amen. He knew the God that he served was going to be the God that answered by fire. And so today, you and I, we, we serve the same God. He is on a throne. He's not on a journey somewhere. He's not talking in a conversation somewhere. He's not asleep on the throne. But his eyes are upon the right. His ears are open unto their prayers. He's watching. His hand is outstretched toward us. So it's important today to realize, amen, that God desires, that, amen, that you and I would call upon him and pray and seek his face. Amen. But let's not seek his face, but become an elite prayer warrior. Amen. To rise to the challenge that lies before us. We're living in a society today, in a world today, where we need men and women of God. Amen. Not just to be a soldier, not just to be an ordinary soldier, but to stand for him. Amen. And take the challenge to become a warrior for Jesus Christ. Amen. To battle against the imps of hell. Battle against the demon forces that are out there to disrupt and destroy what we know as Christian humanity. Amen. I believe it's high time the church realizes. Amen. That there's a higher calling. Amen. There's a deeper walk with God than just coming and sitting on the church pew or just crying out or calling on a prayer. 
water in it. And he told them to go get more water. And they put water in it the second time. And he said, you go get more water. He poured on the sacrifice. You soak down the altar. You soak down these trenches. Fill it with water. Amen. And Elijah prayed a short little prayer. Amen. And when he prayed, the heavens came off. The heavens opened and the fire came down. Amen. Lift up all the water and consume the sacrifice. Amen. We serve a God today, church, that is more than able. Amen. To do exceedingly abundantly and above what we think or imagine. Amen. We must realize that we can call upon God and He will be there for you and I. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. And he prayed and he prayed and he called out upon God. Amen. And finally Gabriel got through and he gave him this story. He told him, he said, I heard you the first time you prayed. God heard you the very first time. Amen. When God dispatched me from heaven, the Prince of Power of Persia hindered. He came and withstood me and I could not break through. But God dispatched angel Michael, the archangel, he meant to come and to make war against the Prince of Power of Persia and I was able to get through to bring it to you. He meant an elite status force of prayer warriors. He meant that's what I'm talking about today is engaging in a battle. He meant that we cannot see. We cannot be afraid. We cannot retreat. We can't run from it. But we must stand in prayer and war against the enemy to destroy the works of Satan and to establish Jesus Christ as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Once again in America. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand. Have a praise. Amen. Amen. An example of this is Abraham. When he had made an offering to the Lord. Amen. And the fowls of the air coming down to try to eat and to consume the, the sacrifice. God had told Abraham to prepare an altar and make a sacrifice. Amen. And take a bullet or take a, a, a three-year, three-and-a-half-year-old calf and, and take that and, and offer it and pigeons and doves and a goat and a lamb and you divide the pieces and lay them upon the altar. So all day long, Abraham prepared the sacrifice. Amen. Oh, my, I like to say it like this. All day long, the soldiers are praying. Amen. All day long, they're preparing the prayer. They're calling out upon God. Amen. Oh, my, but I want to show you something. Abraham, when he had prepared the sacrifice, he had laid it all out, the pieces upon the altar, and the fowls of the air began to come down to consume the prayer. That's just like the old devil, ain't it? When the church is praying, amen, the old enemy trying to come in and destroy our prayers. Amen, trying to destroy the sacrifice of our prayers. Amen, but Abraham, according to the scriptures, amen, fought them away. He would run them off. Amen, when they would come down to take a piece, he would run them off. He would shoo them away over and over and over again. Amen, until God showed up and God came down and walked among the sacrifice. Amen, we need some men and women. Amen, that not are, that are not afraid. Amen, to stand up and, and take and run the enemy back. Amen, to keep him at bay. Amen, until God moves. We need some prayer warriors today to arise to the challenge and now it's God. God, fill me with your spirit and your power. Amen, and honor our prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. How do I become a prayer warrior? Answer the call. Amen. Answer the call. How do I become a prayer warrior? Well, I believe today, amen, that God is calling you and I, amen, to a deeper walk with God. Amen. I believe God's calling America, amen, to just being a soldier, becoming a prayer warrior. Amen. All around our country, we need men and women that are not afraid, amen, to face the enemy, amen, to charge into battle, amen, not part of our lives, amen, not being selfish, amen, it's time the church, amen, it gets out of being afraid and fearful of the enemy and to stand forth in the power of Christ, amen, and rise to the challenge that lies before us and see God move one more time in America. I would come and you answer the call. Here I am, God. You to yourself. Amen to God. Push the phone. You to yourself. To God. Amen. Allowing God to work in your hearts and in your life. Amen. That's right. The old enemy, he doesn't want. Amen. Amen. That God's calling. And God's a dealing with people's hearts and lives. Amen. That they can accomplish this great task. Brother Brad, are you sure? Yes. Amen. I know God spoke to me. And I know that he is calling men and women not just to be a soldier in his army, but to be a warrior. Amen. To arise to an elite status. Amen. One that does not sound retreat. Amen. When you begin to see, amen, the need of prayer. Amen. I want you to look a little deeper. Amen. Than just the need of prayer. I want you to see the 
need, amen, to take and defend the prayers of the saints of God, amen, to defend the work of God, amen, to rise to the challenge to protect the saints and the soldiers, amen, that are there. We need an elite force today to arise and face this enemy head on, amen, not sound and retreat. And when you read in the word of God and you see the soldier's armor, amen, there's nothing to cover the back. Everything is to cover the front. Why? Is that we face the enemy head on. We're not filled with fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Well, we can face the enemy and see him as he is and realize greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We need to stand up like we've never stood before. We need to preach like we've never preached. We need to pray like we've never prayed. Amen. You need to accept the challenge today that God's throwing out your way. Hallelujah. Amen. Rise to the challenge. If you don't take the opportunity when it arises, you will never know what you are capable of doing. Woo! Come on, you'll never know what you're capable of doing. Brother Brown, what are you saying? I never thought I'd be able to preach God's word before a congregation of people. I never thought I would be able to sing, amen, in front of people or talk in front of people. But I want to tell you something, you never know what you can do until you allow God, amen, to begin to work in your life, humbling yourself down and praying and seeking God. And then when God glorifies your life, when He honors your prayers and when He moves on your behalf, then you will realize what you're fully capable of. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, can you? Amen. Hallelujah. I believe it is a calling. Amen. Brother Brad, if it's a calling, then I may just be a regular soldier. All are called. All are called of God. It's whether you are willing to stand up and take the challenge. It's willing whether you will sell your heart out to God and give yourself to God. Amen. If you will give yourself to God, God will not refuse you. Amen. If you would humble yourself down of the hand of God, He will exalt you. Amen. That's what He wants to do once again is to pour His glory into His church. He wants to fill His church with His glory and His power. Amen. So that the onlookers, the world can see that God is on His throne and that He does answer our prayer. Hallelujah. Church needs to pray. We need prayer warriors. God will not refuse you. He will empower you. He will empower you. If He would do it for me, He would do it for you. My, my, my. Oh, He has no respect of persons today. Oh, what He wants to do with your life is far above what you can think or imagine. Amen. Brother Pat, are you, you're saying, Amen, that God can use me. Yes. I'm saying God can fill you and God can use you. God can use you to pray for the sick and they recover. God can use you to prophesy. He can use you to words of wisdom and words of knowledge and healing. He can use you as a minister of God. Thank God. He can fill you with His power and His glory. And you can turn your community. You can turn your nation upside down. We can turn the world upside down once again. Hallelujah. Take courage and stand in the battle. For the battle is not yours. Take courage and stand in the battle. For the battle is not yours. How many remembers? Oh, little David. He met when he brought some food to his brothers. And in there when he brought that, he heard something going on in the midst of the valley. He heard somebody crying, send me a man. Send me somebody that will fight. And there was Saul. And all the big men of Israel held up in a tent were afraid. And didn't know what was going to happen or what was going to go on. And when he gets there, he hears it. He said, I'll go out. I'll go out and battle this uncircumcised Philistine. David, you too little. He's a giant. He's a champion. That's okay. I've been anointed. Amen. I killed a bear. And I killed a lion. This uncircumcised Philistine will be no different. Amen. God said, well, take my armor. He was afraid. The king afraid. 
take my armor. He said, all I need is this little sling and these stones and Jesus, God on my side. Amen. Y'all know the story when he gets into the valley of the Goliath. said, what am I a dog that you would send out such a man as this? What of this? This little ruddy lad, I'll take him out easily. He said, you come against me with a spear and a sword, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. I want to tell you something. We serve a living God. He's on his throne, and he wants a glory in us. The battle is not mine. All he wants me to do is to stay in the battle and stand, and victory will come. Amen. Hallelujah. Accept the challenge. Take courage. Stand, therefore, in the power of his might. Amen. Stand, therefore, in the power of his might. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Amen. Not just a soldier, but a warrior. Put it on. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand in the battle. Stay in the battle. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give in. Let the world say what they want to say. Let the politicians act like they want to act. But stay in the battle. Don't let fear run you off. Don't let fear turn you around on Christ. And keep you from praying. And keep you from being in church. You better stand like you never stood before. You better pray like you never prayed before. You better rise to an elite status as a prayer warrior. And protect the prayer of the saints of God. Amen. In the day we are living, we need men and women to take this challenge. Amen. And stand up for God and let the spirit of the warrior run through your veins. Hallelujah. Taking on the whole armor of God. Stand therefore having your loins skirt about with truth. Amen. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the pirate darts of the wicked. Amen. Let me tell you something here today when you, amen, accept this challenge. Amen. Oh, it ain't meaning that it's going to be easy. There's going to be some pirate darts. There's going to be some trials that will come your way and try you. But I want to tell you, if you'll hold to your faith, amen, and put on the whole armor of God, amen, you'll come through as pure as gold because you're not a loser. Amen. You're super victorious through Jesus Christ our Lord. We can overcome anything, any trial, any situation that he throws our way, whether life or death. I belong to Jesus Christ. Him alone. Should I leave this whole world, I'm going to go and be with Jesus and stand in the portals of heaven and sing in the choir band. I'm going to worship around the throne of God. Amen. That is prayer warriors. Paul, the Apostle Paul. Peter. James. John. We know all of these men, but John the uh, Revelator faced a martyr death. They embraced it. They were not afraid. They stood for Jesus. We're living in a society today where this elite status trying to keep the wind out of the mind. This elite status is being lost. We're losing resources. We're losing our prayer warriors. Then when men and women of God got to take the challenge, take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit,
ever walk with you. I want to be known not just as a soldier for Jesus, but a warrior for Jesus Christ. It's high time the church gets out of the fear, the spirit of fear. Well, he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a lot of power to sell mine. Opening up our spiritual eyes to see what is taking on, what is going on and taking effect around our world. That we arise and we begin to fight against the enemy that's trying to destroy what we know as America. It's high time the church awakens. It's high time you and I as Christians realize that we need to take a deeper walk with God. God depends upon you and I. Oh, he could send the angels down. Christ himself could come back and preach this gospel. God does not desire that. He does not want that. He wants you and I. He wants you. And he wants me to defend his word. How do I do it, Brother Brad? Take the challenge. Don't be a regular soldier. Don't be just one to guard the gate. Don't be one just to take and sit at the office desk, take phone calls. Be the one that'll get down. Wear the knees out of your pants. Come on. Be the one that'll cry on that altar. Wet it with your tears. Oh, be the one that'll grab a hold of the arms of the altar and weep and cry before God. That God moves. Be the one to prepare and protect the prayers of the saints. We need an elite force today across America. God's depending upon us. In the Word of God it says when He comes back, will He find faith? Will He find those that are living for Him and doing the work of Him that's in? Today I want to challenge you. If you're not sold out to Jesus, I want you to shout out to the Lord.
we'll upload that later. Good to have all of you here. Good to see you continue to pray for the church, continue to pray one for another. Amen. That we will stand in the battle. Amen. To victory comes. Amen. God bless you today. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise.